We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where the living's easy and the sushi is called bait. I thought you said her name was Susie. Yeah, but you're right, she did look a little older. 15 at least. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down Greek street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He is fighting for every yard, and the quarterback finds his man. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he picks up about six on the play. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. It's a good interception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. And he just wrestles him. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Now, this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the mayhem ball that club six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble. We can have it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Mm -hmm. 
Second down in a lot. First and ten. And with another pick, no doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Brick, because that was a sonic blast. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. No, you did. You know what? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. Greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger bang. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First down in less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> First and four. said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! And that'll be second down and four. And there's another pick. Man, this quarter... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampage, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! I'm not saying the rap has been mined, but he drove out of the field in a brand new purse.
First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And with another pick, the QB says, oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. Ghost and it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four yard game. Second down and six. hit that one and that's how, and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> gotta love it third down and ten and another interception this quarterback Don't you get right there folks second down and ten does the QB know which team he's on Ouch. what is this and wrestling oh and the late hit arrives right on time when it's your time to go it's your time It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. At the back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. There's a funny thing hit on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Now he won't be waking up anytime soon. And if he does, he'll probably wake up in his own wake. Then it really kill the sound of mood of a wake, wouldn't it? And a freaking... Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two.
what? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That blue joy dirty freak is always good for an easy kill. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot three. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with a brutal hit! First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Hot three. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutal. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. That's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That's a pass and catch for a new game. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Second down and four. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. Like a high school. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, nice hit.
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Second down and more than the QB would like. And with another pick, the QB... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And that'll bring up third and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And this reminds me of that movie Magic Mike, except there's no magic, and the chicks in the stands are all barfing. Ugh. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got... First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, man, he's... Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Oh, well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that is caught for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. With 
That's a vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second and three, and they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the NFL, Grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim oh great throw great catch and that put six points on the board the defense can do anything to stop a throw that good grim you mean aside from priming the ref who's killed the quarterback or actually playing some D? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> Hey man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip work. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Eh, except the zombies. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And 
and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the... for two. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Second down and long. And that's another oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. Yeah, I thought it was brass knuckles, yeah, but it was just a regular knuckles. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? First and ten. And, oh, and that's what you call a killer one-hitter, folks. I did a killer one-hitter once at an ungrateful, undead riot fest. I woke up with three guys gnawing on my kneecap. And it's first and ten. to the races and then it's a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out and it's first and ten he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way first and two Chip shot here, extra point, but 
This guy could blow it. And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second and three. Hey. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. his way out of it. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And the quarterback calls us and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it because I'm too fast. <laughs> Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Ron, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Target more often. And it's first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Second down in a mile. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. Or steer clear of them. Second down and ten. And with an and he just slipped away like a greased pig. And he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you shut him up, bitch. And 
and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he's running like a moose. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he's off to the races. Bingo, bingo, I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Much like our wedding night, there was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Hot two, hot, hot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... He could go all the way. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And the defense gets another pick. Man, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. That was a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Bam! And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and six. They're going for two points. A man from prison 
just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Pacow, what a kick. That's headed for the end zone. Pacow? And just throwing some stuff to the wall, see what sticks, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. The 10. It's a touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. You want to get some fun on your time. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's not going down. Will give them a first down. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember. The offense is running low on receivers. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Jeez, you, can... you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Welcome to the Groin Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, they... he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey. That might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt! 
Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. A brutal head-on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense and another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. And oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense lost their last receiver on that play. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20, the 10, and they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just... The dead land of vultures win by forfeit today. Man, they destroyed their competition. They mutilated them, Cliff. They mutilated them. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. Or was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Now I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Today's game 
was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...